Welcome back to another Under Pressure. Today, I'm very excited to tell you about the new line of guns that we're carrying, uh, the Zebroya line of pre-charged pneumatics. Now, there are three models that we carry, uh, the Hortizia, the Kozak, and the Kozak FC, FC standing for fully compact. Now, these are guns made in Ukraine. They have a lot of features, um, you know, a lot going for them, it, you know, I mean, especially in their price range. They're, they're a great value for what you're getting. Uh, I'll go through what they all have in common, and then we'll look at some of the individual differences here. So, uh, the, they all have a shrouded barrel. So, in here, you, your barrel ends right about here. You've got an air stripper here and this shroud screws on. They're also threaded here for, uh, you know, if you want to add aftermarket options there. Now, one thing I like about this is that uh, the shroud actually tensions the barrel. As you screw it in, it, it, it puts tension on the barrel, making it extremely rigid, uh, minimizing harmonics, and, and giving you, you know, more accuracy that way. Now, they're all regulated, which is really nice, especially in this price range and uh, they fill up to 300 bar if you want to. So if you have a compressor, you can fill them up to 300 bar. If you're filling from an air tank, then you'll probably just fill to 250, and that's fine because it's regulated. You'll still get plenty of shots uh, before you drop off the regulator here. Now they fill with a fill probe. Let me show you here. So you just unscrew this here, insert your fill probe, Fill it up to 250 bar, 300 bar, whatever you want to fill it up to, not more than 300 bar. And uh, screw that back down, and you're ready to go. Uh, one thing that I don't like about them, and I don't like this whenever it happens, is when you have the, you know, the uh, manometer, the fill gauge here on the muzzle end of the gun. Now, I just don't like having to kind of look down this way. It is a really good gauge. It's a Wicca gauge, extremely accurate. Uh, everything about these guns really is, is, is very high quality. Now you'll see that you've got uh, Picatinny rails on all, on all the guns. And you'll notice, you can see here and you can see here, how the magazine, er, you know, it's basically a clip, how it sets below the rail so you can use as low a scope mounts as you want. You know, you can use, it's not limiting you to, to high mounts as, as some guns do. Uh, the stocks on all of them, uh, for me, are extremely ergonomic. In fact, that's the thing that I noticed uh, first off. When I first picked up these guns, uh, I, just, I just fell in love with them. I, I just knew that that's when I knew we really wanted to carry them because they just feel so good. They shoulder so well, and uh, it's very much a right-handed gun, the Hortizia is. Uh, you can see the stock here swelled and uh, curved on this side. Uh, but you've got this palm swell here, so if you're right-handed, you really are going to love this. It just feels so good when you pick it up. Shoulders really well, and uh, you know, it's, a, it's a compact gun, so you'll be able to take it you know, hunting. You won't have any problems you know, fighting it in the brush, in the woods, in a blind, and it's, still, and it's compact enough that you could you know, throw it in your truck, too, for those impromptu shooting sessions or uh, when some critter comes up that needs a little bit of attention. Now, an interesting feature of the Hortizia is the bolt action here. Now, you can see that it's held in place by a little lever. So once, you know, it won't come back, once you pull that lever out, uh, then you can pull out the bolt. Now, when I first saw this, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, uh, but as I've played with it a little bit more, I've really come to like it. It's actually probably the fastest bolt action on the market. You can just actuate it just as fast as you can pull that back. It becomes natural and second nature here. So I think that's something that you will uh, really come to enjoy and appreciate about that. Bolt action guns tend to be slower than the side levers and so forth, but this one I don't think is. And now let's take a look at the, uh, the Kozak here. This is uh, a semi bullpup, which means, it, you know, it's not a full bullpup where the, where the barrel in action is, is brought all the way back, but it is brought back a few inches behind the trigger. Now what this does is gives you kind of the best of both worlds. You get a more compact gun, you know, the, every, everything's brought it back a little farther, it sets a little, uh, you know, tighter in your shoulder, the weight's a little farther back, but it still lets you get, you know, a proper 
cheek weld, and so forth, which is what you tend to have a problem with uh, bullpups in general. You, t you know, typically need to raise the scope up pretty high and that sort of thing because of the way they're built. Now you can see this has an adjustable uh, cheek riser here. Just tighten and loosen this screw, drop it up and down. It's spring-loaded, which, which is actually a, you know, a really nice feature. Now the Kozak is a side lever. And uh, the other advantage of this is that you know, the side lever is not, not too far back. You know, it gives you a nice, comfortable uh, feel here to, to cycle it. The, the rail up on top, Picatinny again. And uh, you know, you've got your shrouded barrel. And again, as I, I mentioned earlier, they're shrouded. And it does uh, you know, quiet the gun uh, you know, a fair bit. If you want it whisper quiet, you can add something else on at the end if you want. But it's not necessary at all. Now, the clips in these guns are, are rotary style clip like this. Now, this is a really good kind of, of clip to, for easy loading. And actually, uh, we might as well show you, I'll, I'll show you the easy way. You don't want to load these uh, one at a time. There's no point to it when you have a really nice uh, sort of a clip like this. So the best way is, you know, if you want to just do it, you know, it depends on how fast you want to be. But I just take and put some in like that, shake them a little bit, and then uh, you can see how many of them just automatically fall right into place. These are filled target trophy pellets, which are a short pellet, so they tend to flip around a little bit more. You know, JSBs or, or other pellets, you know, typically they'll all just go straight in. And then just push them in like that, and you're ready to go. So really easy to use, really fast to load, a really nice clip. One of my favorite designs. Uh, we have a uh, manual safety here. Just, you know, it's easy to reach just with your trigger finger. And uh, that's pretty much that. Oh, I do have to point out again that the ergonomics on this gun are just phenomenal. Now, the length of pull is a little short. Uh, it's not actually shorter than than, than a lot of other bullpups on the market. But the palm swell pushes your hand a little farther back, so it, it might feel a little shorter than, than others. But again, for the compact, sort of uh, quick and limber and, and uh, lithe and agile gun, I think that's the word I was looking for, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice feel. But this palm swell, look at that. Can you get a good, I mean, you, you can't really appreciate it until you pick it up, but it just fills out your hand and makes this gun just so comfortable, you're really just going to enjoy shooting it. Now, their latest model to come out is the Kozak FC, the fully compact version. And this looks, you know, like some other bullpups you've seen. It's, it's a pretty standard design, but really, really compact, really lightweight. I'll give you all the, uh, you know, we'll have all the specs in the description to the, of the video. But uh, just extremely lightweight, extremely maneuverable, and uh, you know you don't have a really comfortable cheek rest, cheek rest here. But uh, but I'm not too concerned about that either. Um, I actually kind of like a, a sharper cheek rest where I can really feel it, and and it goes right into place every time for you know quick and repeatable accuracy. The side lever here is at the back, same kind of magazine. Again, a really Really nice little gun here. So I think that's enough talking about these. Let's go ahead, we'll take them to the range, uh, we'll do chronograph testing, we'll do sound testing, and we'll test the accuracy of them for you also. I've got the Hortizia filled up to 300 bar. We're going to do a full shot string. Uh, this, uh, you know, the, the internals are the same on the Hortizia as this, or on the Kozak, so we'll just do all the testing. Uh, with this gun and, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll tell you what the Kozak does also. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got uh, 18 grain JSBs loaded up here and uh, we'll see how many shots we get. With the Hortizia filled to 300 bar, we got a total of 74 shots. The high was 861, the low was 811 for a spread of 50 feet per second. The average was 827 feet per second, which yielded us an average muzzle energy of 27.5 foot-pounds. 
For the accuracy testing, I've got a target set down at 35 yards. I've got 10 JSB 18.13 grain heavies loaded up and we'll see how it does. And that's 10. In our narrow enclosed range, without any sound deadening whatsoever, the highest reading we got was 89.6, making this well within backyard friendly range for uh, the vast majority of backyards. Let's take a look at these groups here. So, this was the JSB 18.13 heavies. Uh, one of them got away from me. Uh, making the group about three quarters of an inch. Without that one, we're just over a third of an inch right there. Now, I did shoot a couple of other targets, so we had mix up with the camera. Uh, this target I shot, uh, I shot the top target, Jason had the camera on the middle one. Uh, this one, these two shots up here are on me. Once I, you know, I was, I was having, it was kind of jumping back and forth a little bit on those first few shots. Cleaned my glasses, could see better, and then all of them went into here. So that's about a quarter of an inch. Altogether, it's, uh, it's about a third of an inch. And this is with the uh, Air Arms uh, 16 grain pellets. Now on this target, uh, Jason and I were both looking at the same thing. He had the camera on it, I was shooting the right target, but then the GoPro wasn't on. So we didn't get this in on film either. Uh, so this is about a third of an inch. This one that came over here a little bit, if we take that one off, we're just at a quarter of an inch. So really good accuracy. Again, this is with the Air Arms uh, 16 grain pellets. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier was that they do have adjustable power. You can adjust the hammer spring, uh, take it out of the stock, and you can adjust it from, uh, you know, from the rear. You can get in here, uh, same on, on the Hortiz and so forth. Now let's test the trigger on this, on these guns. That's one of the things that the Zabroyas are known for, is having a really, really nice trigger. So let's go ahead and get you the pull weight here. 14.2 uh, ounces. Thirteen point three ounces. And thirteen point six ounces for an average of 13.7 ounces. Now, not only is the trigger, uh, you know, nice and light, but it's extremely crisp. It's a two-stage adjustable trigger. Uh, you know, you've got a nice light first stage comes up against a really clear wall, and then it breaks, you know, with virtually no travel at all. And again, you can, you know, you can fiddle with the trigger and get it exactly how you like. But that is one of the really standout features of this gun especially in that price range, you know, in that seven to $800 range. Uh, you're getting a really nice trigger, which really adds to the whole experience, adds to the accuracy and just to the pleasure uh, and enjoyment and satisfaction of shooting your gun. Let me go ahead and sum up here. Uh, there's a lot to like about these guns. Even the Hortizia, which is the, the biggest gun here, is still really nice, compact, lightweight, shoulders well. They all just feel incredibly good in the hand. Uh, they've got great triggers. They're regulated. You've got, you can fill them up to 300 bar if you want. You don't have to. Uh, you get a lot of shots per fill. They're nice and quiet. They're also threaded on the ends. 
Uh, you've got the Picatinny rail. I mean, there's really just a ton to like. Uh, in this price range, they are just a fabulous value. That trigger really just makes it a completely uh, different gun from so much else that's out there. Are there any cons? Uh, you know, no big ones. Well, there is a kind of one big one if you're left-handed. Uh, all of these guns are pretty much right-hand only, and so that's, uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. But if you were looking for a compact, tough, lightweight, accurate uh, rifle that's not going to break the bank, uh, then you should look at this Royal line of guns. They are fabulous value and uh, wholeheartedly recommend them. Also, you can check out uh, Rick Ream over at Shooter1721. He's done a number of videos with these showing off their some really remarkable accuracy. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.